Ah, here we go. You guys. Your friends are gonna thank you. Hey there. It is I, BJ. We are going to do some quick, easy, simple snacks. We are going to do some pretzel bites. Okay? It's not gonna take long at all. Keep watching. They're gonna be good. Okay, so to start, we have three cans of pizza dough. You're gonna take a little flour, you're gonna rub it, roll it around in the, in the flour just a little bit, and just stretch it out. Sprinkle your flour just a little, don't use a lot. So you're just going to stretch it out. And we're just going to cut these into little bite-sized pieces. Lay them on a, some parchment paper. Now I have some water boiling on the stove and I also have my oven set at 450 degrees so we're just gonna cut these try to make them as even as possible but if you don't that's okay Okay, so I'm going to cut the other two cans off camera, and then I'll be back and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I have them all cut into almost the same size. So now that water is boiling, we're going to take a half a cup of baking soda. Okay, and we're going to put it in the pot of boiling water. And we're going to put one teaspoon of sugar into the water. Okay, so we're going to just take our baking soda and put it off in the boiling water. Along with the baking soda one teaspoon of sugar okay now I gotta move pretty quick I'm gonna dump a batch of the uh, pretzel bites off into the off into the water and you're gonna leave them for about 30 seconds and then take them right out Put them on a paper towel and let them dry out. And then we're gonna do the next batch until they're all dipped in the water. Okay, so you wanna get something like this to be able to grab them out. Dump them out onto the paper towel. 
and let them dry out. Okay, I'm going to do the next two batches off camera while these dry out and we'll be back. Okay, now I got them all dried out and back on the parchment paper where they origin, originally started. Okay, so I got one egg. I'm going to beat this egg. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little water. Now this is our egg wash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip each I'm going to dip each pretzel bite into the egg wash and lay them on this tray with the parchment paper and get ready to put them in the oven. Okay, so this egg wash is going to help them nice and brown while they're in the oven. Just line them up on the parchment paper. Let me, I, you can't see. Let me slide this over a little. And I'm going to use some kosher salt. There. Okay, now you can see. I'm going to use some kosher salt to sprinkle over them. Before we start to bake them. Okay, so once I get all of them coated with the egg wash, I'm going to come back and show you before I put them in the oven, okay? So you just want to stand them right up on the tray, just like so. I'm going to do a couple of more for you, and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. Expedite time. Nothing fancy, just dip them, put them on the tray. Okay, so I'll be back once I get them all done. Okay, so we got the egg wash on all of them. So now I have some kosher salt. It's the coarse salt. So I'm just going to sprinkle it all over my pretzel bites. And then I have some melted butter that I'm going to spread over them after they come out the oven. And we'll be ready to eat. Have a nice snack. Okay, so some salt will fall off and some will stay on. I tend to like a little salt on mine. Pray for me. Because I might put some more on mine once they come out. But anyway, that's enough for now. So we're going to go on and put these in the oven. And remember, I have it preheated on 450 degrees. I have a electric oven. I'm going to put them in for 8 to 9 minutes, okay? And then I'm going to go on and uh, get my butter ready. Okay, you guys. Fresh out the oven. Look how pretty they are. Man, I know you can see them, but I'm going to raise it up. Ooh, look at that. Hot diggity dog. My grandson even said, ooh, they look good. Okay, so I got my melted butter right here. And I'm just going to just go on and tap them because I don't want the salt to come off. 
Man, oh man, oh man, these things look good. So you can, this is salted butter. You could use unsalted butter if you want, or you can not use no butter. You can not use no butter. Woo. Some language I got, huh? Okay, well, you can omit the butter. And you can omit the salt also. So if you don't can't have salt, you can skip the salt. I shouldn't be having the salt, but I'm going to have these pretzels. That's what I'm going to do. Because they are looking fine. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. After I get these all buttered up and everything, we're going to play games and watch a movie and eat our pretzels. Man, woo, these look so delicious. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go on and plate them up and I'll be back and we gonna give them a taste. I already know these are gonna be so good. Already, ready, ready. You know I always got to show you. I always got to put it up in your face. Okay, so I got me some Dijon mustard on the side for my dipping sauce. Ah, here we go. You guys. Your friends are gonna thank you. Mm -mm. These are so good. Just enough salt, just enough butter, everything. I'm gonna go on and make me a batch of these, put them in a bowl, go hang out have some fun until next week i will see you back here rolling in the kitchen with bj until then be safe be blessed i love you good night take care